went to the Magic Johnson benefit. We hooked up with Henry Rollins. The next day, we flew to San Francisco. What you're going to see right now is uh, a day in the life of Henry Rollins. We've got some performances in there. Uh, we'll be talking to him. We'll get some intimate shots of the band. I don't really know what else I can say besides this is Henry Rollins. <laughs> infinitely more interesting on the road than I am off it because I'm playing I'm under pressure I'm some going on when I'm home nothing happens except the phone and the rent and that's why I don't spend much time there because by the time I've been home for two weeks I'm getting nervous I gotta I'm nervous that I can't go play anymore that I'm no good I gotta go out and kick it Pittsburgh once you're playing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that makes you're, sense. You're at a, ve a venue is a venue, oh. you know? <laughs> sound check is sound check. It sounds better if I clean it. It's gonna be black, loud, and strong like Muhammad Ali. still trying to maintain my connection with the kids, even though I posed for a Gap ad. That's what the San Francisco Weekly says. <laughs> doing this for other than self-expression and doing what I want to do, but believe me, I'd be doing it much differently. If I was in entertainment, my objective would be to entertain, make money. Right. And if I wanted to make money at doing music and writing and all this, I would not be writing songs about <laughs> right. I hate my dad. No! No! I'd be going like good times right, right here right, again. Right. Ah! I wouldn't be looking like this. I wouldn't be dressed like this. Right. I mean, I, I know it makes money. I, right. I know how that works, but right. believe me, I know it. I wouldn't have done the video I did. Ah! I wouldn't be talking like this mm -hmm. on MTV, right? right? I'd be definitely <laughs> kissing your ass, right? you know? <laughs> now it's all you to the ball. No. Ah! It's really funny how some people say, oh, you're just, you're just doing a shtick here. If I wasn't really like this, why would I jump around up and down like some kind of idiot? And I know I must look pretty stupid up on stage. I mean, the best thing is like on Lollapalooza, you're out there rocking out, wow, I hate my dad, ah! <laughs> And you look down, there's like nine, 900 smirking teenagers waiting for Nine Inch Nails, smoking <laughs> cigarettes and they're like, how many of you have an attitude? Man, I don't care. It's 1992. If you don't have an attitude, stay the fuck at home. You're going to get killed. This song is called Hard. People always come up to me eventually. I've been seeing you for years. 
I've been this close to you, like at gigs, like for three different times. I've always wanted to talk to you, but I never did. And I go like, well, why not? Yeah. They go, well, I'm afraid of you. I'm like, <laughs> and and they go, I thought you'd hit me or something. And I go, well, why do you think that? Well, because you look so crazy when you play. That's not, I hate you. I hate, I want to hit you. It's just like. <sighs> I could never write a song like Shiny Happy People. <laughs> and that's, but like, I'm not putting down Michael at all. I mean, he's, he's one of the coolest people I've ever met. But that, and some days I feel like a shiny happy person. Lyrically, uh, I'm into a blues thing. When something hurts, you know, I, I write about it. I sing, you know, I write, you know, something. And that, and, and that when I'm feeling bad, that's what I do, is I get it out of me. How did you develop that thousand yard stare you seem to have? That's just a lot of concentration, so while I'm playing, hopefully I'm oblivious to what anyone's saying, I'm oblivious to pain, uh, fatigue, I'm just doing the music. Nothing else exists but the music. I think only like three or four times in my life I've ever walked up to a girl and said, hi, my name is Henry, what's your name? Oh, God, I could never do that. Whew, man, no, Ugh. no. Uh, but but I can go out on stage and scream. Yeah. I can, I can get in fights. I can, uh, I can break stuff. I can say the most belligerent, outrageous things to anybody, anywhere. If there wasn't a language restriction with MTV, man, I could melt that camera. I'm convinced that some people just don't fit on the planet all that well. Some people just aren't all that well adjusted. They're not always cut out for life on Earth. And that's not because they're better or worse. They're just, they just don't fit too well. And I think I'm, I can, it's safe to say I'm one of those people. You see, you see, you see the reason.